3.85 DC mega mega ohm. Can I, so that's what the reading is. So it is getting a good. So it's getting a little voltage too, but it just spiked a minute ago. Yeah. It's Kevin, explain what you got here. Dirt. <laughs> got dirt. Um, We're scratching the surface. Galvanized. Uh, two inch galvanized screw in the bottom. And then inside the top are uh, one inch copper nipples for copper piping with the wire just attached. Actually one of these is just a, a pad of uh, copper wire wrapped around to make so a So milliamps, square. you're getting 1.04 milliamps. That's good. You know, you can, and it will you can light charge, uh, you can yeah. take uh, and charge small batteries with that and light up LEDs for sure, you know. Yeah, uh, Kevin has it had as a demonstration here. This is a 9 LED uh, out of a flashlight. Which takes a minimum of 3 volts to run. Um, but we're getting 3 volts here. It did light all of them up. It's hard to see in the daytime. You wouldn't see it, but maybe tonight when the, it's dark we can show you. It's not real bright, but you could keep playing with it and make it brighter and brighter and brighter. A, uh, a jewel thief would probably be in order for um, to make it really, really bright, but can you believe this? Okay, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cells, as we'll call them, only with dirt, uh, some with some lemon juice, some with some pickle juice, some with some salt water, and some with some plain water. And, just, and, and putting those in series together have created enough juice to be able to light that little... 9 LED. 9 LED. Not, not brightly, but incredible as it is, you can make your own batteries out of dirt.